Now, one can think about the dilemmas facing the world economy today as a set of very complex tensions that need to be resolved. And these tensions take a number of different forms. They permeate all the issues we've been talking about. And they result in an interesting set of coalitions that are being formed around the G20. So first, let me talk a little bit about the substance and about the strategic aspects as we go into the G20. On the substantive side, if you take macroeconomic stimulus, for instance, as Kemal correctly said, right now there is a severe aggregate demand problem out there that needs to be solved. But if we frame the issue as thinking about today's crisis versus tomorrow's crisis, we might essentially be creating problems not just in terms of solving uh, today's crisis, but in terms of tomorrow's crisis as well, if we don't uh, take the right policies. But at some level, this tension is going to be very difficult to resolve. So increasing fiscal stimulus today is going to mean a higher level of the U.S. Uh, fiscal deficit, is going to mean a higher level of the U.S. public debt. And that is at some level inevitable if we need to get out of the mess we are in in the U.S. And the same holds true for many other uh, industrial as well as emerging markets as well. So having the stimulus right now and a concrete plan to think about bringing deficits and debt levels back in the medium term is one way to think about resolving this tension and trying to convince markets that, again, that in terms of trying to sh uh, um, reduce the short-term pain, we don't create much more pain um, in the future. And if there is an expectation there is going to be more pain in the future, it makes a short-term problem harder to solve as well.